Hi, welcome back. We have imported an MX9 dataset to TBC last time, but the point cloud is not yet generated. Let's walk through it together. Open the project from last time. Select a run or the mission node in Project Explorer. The Generate Scans command is now enabled. An easy to be ignored but very important checkbox is called Process MTA. When we acquire data with high measurement rates, such as 1 million Hz, range ambiguity may happen, causing false points to be recorded with shorter distance information. In an MX9 dataset, they may show as salt and pepper in the road, or this unnatural tail. To resolve this issue, the multi-time around correction module automatically cleans the noise and put objects further on the side. When the run is highlighted, the associated data files are listed for your reference. Only select the runs you would like to generate point clouds, then click Next. If you have more than one SBAT files generated for this mission, TBC picks the latest file by default. Use the Browse button to select a different one if necessary. The point cloud can be colorized using the panorama imagery. Since we will register the scans later with ground control points, we will skip the colorization for now. On the contrary, if no ground control points will be applied to update the scans, you may colorize the points right now. We will demo the steps in the next video. Click Process. The process view will appear with some brief information about what is being implemented. The process time is, of course, related to the run length, but also affected by the scanning frequency and the computer specification. Turning off the colorization will waive a good amount of waiting time. Just for your reference, this run is about 38 seconds long, and was collected with 1 million hertz in the field. It contains about 47 million points overall. On my computer, Dell Precision 5520 with NVIDIA graphics card, it takes about two minutes for processing. So we're looking at a 1.4 ratio, more or less. The process is complete. Click OK in the window. Let's check the point cloud quality. Open 3D view. Rotate by holding the mouse wheel. Zoom in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel. Change the rendering method for a better visualization. For color by elevation, open the rendering settings to adjust the origin elevation and the interval in order to achieve a more natural spectrum. You may also open the panoramic view again.
click the Quick View button to display point cloud on top of the imagery. It's recommended to switch it back for better navigation performance. And don't forget to save the project. Next time, I will show you how to register and colorize the print cloud. Sit tight. Thank you for watching.